Hello, Hello Floss Tube, where the real house is of cross stitch. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. Zinnia is hanging out. <laughs> right here. Cash is in the other room. The dogs are in the other room. Happy belated 4th of July. We hope that you had a fabulous, and some of you continue to celebrate from 4th to through this weekend. So we hope that you have a good time if you're with family or just hanging out, stitching. We hope that you had a good time. We celebrated Cash's birthday. Mm -hmm. He started the day with a parade early in the morning for Union Grove. They had a flyover. Well, we should go back because... Oh, they didn't know about no. his party. Right. We did oh. the party. We went to the flea market. We, mm -hmm. we like... Yeah, so we... The party probably hosted 50-ish people. Um, we invite his friends, our family. I mean, me and Matt combined, we have, what, 20 or so people in our family with the kids and everything. And then we invite his um, friends, but we allow their, their families to come, their siblings, whatever. So we had a tie dye station, we had cotton candy machine, a parachute launcher, the big jumpy house with the water bounce slide I do every year. And then Matt cut a baseball diamond in the front yard and that was a big hit. So it like split up the group. So not a hundred kids were in the jumpy house at one time. Um, it was extremely hot. But then it cooled off at night. Mm -hmm. We did fireworks in the afternoon. In the evening. Yeah, yeah. Um, he it had was a great really time. humid because it had rained the night that night. Oh yeah. And so it was very humid during the day. But then it just went away like at three o'clock in the afternoon, probably or two something. And I saw him a total of maybe ten minutes yeah. the entire day to get the cake, to take a picture and sing to him was like the longest. As soon as they came, they came in the morning to set up at eight a.m. and. He was out there ever since. So he had a really good time, needless mm -hmm. to say. Then the next morning, I made him get up super early <laughs> and go to the flea market. He slept in the wagon, so you won't see him in the pictures. He's in the wagon. Sleeping. And, yes. <laughs> and the wagon just kept squeaking. Oh, my. <laughs> Matt was like, if you find an oil can. I was like, we have tons of oil cans at home. His mom or his dad gave us a bunch of oil, vintage oil cans. She's like, no, one with like actual oil in it that I can lube up this tire because it squeaked the whole way through. Mom got some really good stuff. I did. I I don't I don't know. And then I came home and planted right away and Yeah, Destiny's family uh was there too. Her dad's funny. He's mm -hmm. just like the runner. Yeah. He's just the runner. I just <laughs> Because <laughs> as soon as he gets to the truck, his phone rings. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. I got more stuff. It was very funny. We forgot to turn the light on. It's okay. We look fine. You can't see all my <laughs> the bags under my eyes. The dirt under my fingernails. We finally did a garden tour. Oh, God. Good Lord. <laughs> finally. Yes. Um, yes. Came over. We've and... only been trying since, what, May? Yeah. She said, let's, and Matt was out there, let's do a June garden tour in July. And I was like, what? Um, a lot of you liked the flyover shots at the end. Matt got a drone a long time ago and is finally learning how to use it. New hobby. Uh, so he's got a bunch of stuff that he's going to send to her so she can make some reels of it going through. He's still learning how to get steady. I said, you can't make them seasick. You got to be more like, because the thing is going like this and zoom. We'll see. Um, but a lot of comments on the garden tour and a lot of you enjoyed watching it. So thank you. That's Chelsea always does a really good job filming. Um, we appreciate you watching it. And then uh, we'll try to get another garden tour of my house up sometime in October. Um, <laughs> be December by the time we get it. Uh, uh, what else did we do this week? I just prepped for the birthday. I've started packing charts. Those will start shipping this weekend. Oh, and then yesterday, Chelsea had sent in Cash's picture for... Oh, yeah! The news they do because it's channel six, so they do who's turned in six. So he got on there, yes, uh, super cute. Yes. Okay, but you know, I don't watch a lot of the news, I get a lot of my news just reading articles, I don't watch it. And so, leading up to it, I'm screen recording it on my phone. We don't get local news channels, whatever. Um, here's a death, murder investigation, <laughs> robbery, like just like. Oh my, look who's turning six! Like, and then they show these kids' photos, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, but 
he got on there super cute i loved that they did it one of his friends actually his girlfriend's mom told me to put it in there so really cute he was excited to see it and then he was in the parade for his football yes and he got to wear like a practice jersey and seeing him in a little football uniform it was just super cute i didn't post those pictures because i figured you would and you'd be mad at me because i i posted them first so i didn't post them <laughs> we got home and we went to bed so we went to um... i wanted to go to bed <laughs> but oh fun please <laughs> mm. I love the comment about the, <laughs> the, the aerial shot, shot from, came from the, <laughs> their window. Yeah. No, that was the best. <laughs> um, e, no, I just didn't post them yet. I, I will post them. So we went to that parade. Then we went to Summer's Parade, which is a much larger parade. The, the uh, Culver's truck, they usually like hand out tokens for a free ice cream. They were taking handfuls and I mean like, they're plastic tokens and they were literally smashing by people. <laughs> She's covering the baby's head to make sure that yeah. they didn't get pegged with a coupon. It was No, and then somebody cool. always got her with a sucker. It was like, like... <laughs> um, so we went to two parades and then we went to um, Barb's party hung out there. Cash got to swim all day. So by the time we got home, we were all just kind of like, Ugh. yeah, and it was so humid. It was humid. It was supposed to rain and, and it did pour at our house, but it was not till later, but we were like, mm, we're just going to go to bed. It poured in the middle of the night here, like four, I think. Oh yeah. Right. And lightning and all that at our house. And now we're here with you. Yep. Now and it's here. Christmas in July and I decorated for Christmas. Oh, Christmas. There's no trees up. Somebody said on my picture list, me, how many trees do you put up in July? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> no. Those are last year's pictures, but I know it's fun to see Christmas in, in July. July. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have some questions. We're not going to answer the garden questions in this one. We'll probably do a live Q and A in a week or two. October. Right? Yeah, well, whenever you get to it, because that, by then we need to do a July garden tour. Um, all right. Will you be designing any everyday charts to fit on the green shutter board? Um, maybe. I don't know if they still have those. Um, Hobby Lobby is getting kind of weird, so I would not if they are already out of them. Priscilla, do you think Karen Reed is innocent? Oh, why don't you talk about that real quick? Oh, good Lord. Is, is she saying that he's, is she's guilty? No. Okay, so yes. I do think she's innocent. She is not a professional. She is not. No, but I listen. Like, I can be a juror. I listen to the whole thing. I mean, how do you dispute science you, and facts? Right. You just know that there wasn't enough evidence to say that no, she 100% did it. I know that those other people, like, who drives to a Navy base to throw away their phone and stick their SIM card in another dumpster? Who does Black that? Doodles. Guilty people. Who goes to the their friend who works for the FBI and says, hey extract just the messages from her off my phone, but nothing else. Who does that? Why were they messaging her? Who, who messages each other between midnight and 2 a.m. in the morning? They're, they're like 40-year-old people or 50-year-old people or however the heck they, old they are. Who's messaging them? Scumbags, that's who. Absolute <laughs> scumbags. <laughs> anyway, yes, I do think she's innocent. Um, what happened in his, the trial? His phone or his watch or whatever it was showed him going up and down steps. The, the, that, um, the policeman that they, they have rehomed now to a different department, he is as crooked as they come and he, Practice. he did a lot of bad things. He did a lot of bad things. Hey Cash, can you turn it down two notches? Inverting the video so you can see them monkeying with her taillight. Oh. And that's what they showed in court. And they actually um, took the time so stamp off and So they declared it a mistrial. To, yeah. They declared it a mistrial. They'll be but back supposedly in. supposedly they're doing it again. Okay. Do you have a tutorial to do on how to do cording? No. No. We don't, we don't use no, that I don't do cording. She uses Rick Rack as like border. She uses the daisy trim. She uses something we'll show you in a little bit. Things like that. I want to say one more thing. Also, I feel like because of the Netflix or whatever filming setup that they have in there, that those jurors knew that they, I, th I feel like they wanted to drag it out and I feel like there's a couple of them that There's are, a Netflix? Yeah, it's, the, they were filming for a... Oh. 
they, I saw something on there. Like, who's going to play her? Is it going to be Blake Lively yeah. or somebody yeah. else? Oh. Jennifer yeah. Aniston's the other one they're saying. Oh. But I feel like I they wanted to, to draw a lot of attention to themselves. Priscilla, what trial are you going to watch next? You got me hooked on the retrial and watch like crazy to catch up. Now I'm just waiting on a verdict. This was five days ago. So. Well, I know a lot of the people that I watch are going to do Alec Baldwin. So the shooting thing. Yeah. So I will probably end up watching that because I watched some of the first one where the the armor girl. It's amazing the stuff that you learn watching these trials. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of the one behind you with the white barn flag and sunflowers? Oh. <laughs> Liberty Farm, I think. Liberty Farm, we think. Yeah, we went from patriotic to Christmas, so. It was fun getting these things out today. Oh, this is six days ago. Uh, Priscilla, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Today the Boston Globe reported the Karen Reed jury said they were deadlocked. If they can't decide on a verdict with further deliberations, can you handle a second trial? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. But, uh, <laughs> and then her, uh, his brother talked. John O'Keefe's brother talked. And I listened to somebody summarize, I watched the whole thing, but I listened to somebody summarize it on TikTok. Okay. And they said he to only told one truthful thing, and I can't remember what that was. But all the rest is like, it's all smoke and mirrors. The, the, he, the scientific evidence says he did not get hit by a car. How are you gonna dispute that? When do you sleep? Oh gosh, not very much. <laughs> no. She's, she's I stayed in bed until seven o'clock the other day. She, this morning oh I had wake at four thirty. So. When we came, yeah, yesterday I was up at four. When we came um, to do the garden tour, you know, it's a family affair. We all pull up. She comes walking outside. Her face was as red as this. She she thought she had heat stroke from working out in the garden all day. So that morning, I didn't know we were doing a garden tour that day, but it had rained, and then it was cloudy, and I had these hydrangeas that when we went to Chelsea's party for cash, Hunter and Destiny had gone to this place that was closing because they had David Austin Roses. And they What's had, it called? Smokers or something? What's it called? I can't remember. But it's in Palatine. It's in a parking lot and they closed. So <clears throat> they had gotten me four more of the little lime punch hydrangeas for the front. And I knew I needed to get them in the ground. So I thought, well, it's overcast. I'm going to go out there and do it. And then she texted me and said, oh, and I had to dig like with tree roots and everything. And, you know, when you're out that close to the road, all the people got a comment as they walk by. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> anyway, and then the, the new neighbor across the street came over and introduced himself when I had dirt from here to here, just like... And then I was wiping my face. I had dirt all over my face. I'm like, don't touch me. Don't and try to shake garage, my And garage guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, there was a cute guy giving so-and-so a quote for a garage. He came over and he said hi. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, filthy. Like you could have wrung my clothes out. And... No, that's not what he said. He said, you could wrung my bra out. <laughs> that's what he said. Hey, Zinnia. Um, everybody wants to know, and this is just like a question I got asked multiple times in the garden thing, so I'm going to answer it. For the metal, do you drill holes yes. in the bottom of it? Yes, yes. and so I, has drill I, holes. I do it myself now. I used to have to have Hunter do it. Now I can do it myself. We got her a drill. Mm -hmm. I had a drill then, but I still would get Hunter to do it. The weed whacker. You want to talk about the weed whacker? Oh my God. <laughs> what are you looking at, baby? So... I had, what, what kind did I have? The yellow, yellow and black? De, yeah, what kind? DeWalt. We have a DeWalt. Okay. And then Matt was stringing it for me at first. And then I don't know what happened, but he's like, this thing is broken. So they ended up taking it back and getting me a new oh, one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Can you say excuse me? <laughs> nope. That's a good girl. She's a good burper. <laughs> so then I had that one. And I had it for probably, what, two years? Yeah. And I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get the bottom off of it. She can't stand it that I'm not paying attention to her. I couldn't get the bottom off of it. So every time I needed a new string on it, Hunter would have to come over and he wouldn't let me put the string on. He'd put the string on, then it would just go flying out. 
Yeah. And I know you're off. watching this, Hunter. Hunter does stuff kind of half, you know what? So it would maybe, he would get a little piece of string and string it on there and be like, this is good for now. Gotta go, buy." He's like, you need to buy a new one. And then he sends me this thing. You need to buy this one because it strings itself. Like you hold the string up to it, it sniffs it and sucks it in or something. <laughs> the the fact like, that you believed it is... <laughs> The thing is like a jet engine. <laughs> I'm out there. Oh, and then he didn't put the guard on it. So I'm out there weed eating. And he he said, oh, I'm going to weed eat the whole, your whole, because I got a lot to weed eat. I'm going to do it two seconds in. He's like, I got a rocket. <laughs> I got a rocket in my eye. I can't do it anymore. It's because he didn't put the guard on it. Yeah, Matt came in and was looking at it. and was like, why isn't there a guard on it? And Hunter was like, oh, <laughs> He's like, she doesn't need that. He's like, yes, you do. You need the guard on it. So then they did it. She's taking out like chunks of her yard when she's weed eating. The thing is taller than her. The, oh, he, the battery he, charger has a out. fan on it. Yes. It's so big. <laughs> then when she like weed wax around the chair legs and stuff, it sucks it around the thing. Like it's just a lot. And you just hear about it a lot. So she needs to go back to the DeWalt or scissors, whatever she needs to use. But he came and weed whacked for the home tour so you could see that for the garden tour. Yes, because I was taken out when I tried to do it the, the few chunks days of before, grass. I was taking out gouges. I was just like drawing in my yard. And she was using nasty words. <laughs> And then she found a screw to it on the ground, and she's like, what's this? Where does this go? And he's like, you don't need it. And she's like, yeah, bet. <laughs> it's just a lot. Oh, and when we were at the flea market, we saw one of our stitchers. Yes. And I can't remember her name, but she was so cute. She came and, like, danced around us. It was very cute. So we hope Hi. we see you again. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> We were r running through there. That was on our way back. We were done. We were going to go pick up mom's stuff. And that's always like a, a juggle. Like, do we go unload the car and then come back in and get this up? Or do we just pile all the, you know what, on top of it? Every, that's what we decided to do. It's just everybody take something in your arms, on your head, whatever. And Cash is still sleeping in the thing. <laughs> we won't get out. So what are you doing? She's got a bellyache. She didn't go to the bathroom on 4th of July. So. Oh, she's... Yes. Um, okay, but we saw you there. Hello, hi. She got a wee then later that night we were calling Matt's dad and he was on <laughs> the weed wagon. This thing and you got a string the we're like, Oh my we we need to go to bed. Both of us. <laughs> both our parents maybe they need to swap weed wagons is what they need to do. We have a gas powered one. So I have a DeWalt one and we have a gas powered one. The DeWalt one is never strung up, so I can never weed eat. Oh, darn. Shucks. So, because I can't use the gas one. I no, don't know I how. never could either. I don't know how. Um, okay. And then other questions was, the items you grow from seed, do you get the seeds from the flowers or buy them? Both. This I have saved many zinnia seeds, and this year she will be saving her zinnia seeds, but um, majority... <laughs> You like this? She no, no, I was laughing because you said that. I'm like, eh. yeah. You're going to. The floret. Destiny wants them too. Yeah, the floret. Um, zinnias are super. Hi, baby. Do you see you? Hi, Zinni. Yes. Um, zinnias are super easy to save. Once they dry up on the head, you just cut the top off and put it in a Ziploc bag or paper bag and don't zip up the Ziploc if you're putting it in that. But super easy. And then you just plant. You can plant the heads next to Oh. <laughs> Shake the table. Okay. All right. What did we release in the Etsy shop? Now that you've heard about our whole week. Oh, are you drooling? Yeah. Our whole week. The weed eater. Yeah. That's the best part. Mm. My goodness. Where did it go? So we started our Christmas in oh. July. Right. There and you go. Did you guys know that Santa has a seed shop? <gasps> and his first seeds are the peppermint seeds. And yes, peppermint <laughs> is a real seed. <laughs> it's a mint seed. That's why there's leaves mm -hmm. on it. And then it's just... And it's just the candy canes and Santa. And I used one of the, the blocks that we have from Michael's. And I know you can't cut these anymore, but some of you have a stockpile of them. And I think Stitch Etc. still has the other blocks that we use too. And there's a hundred other ways that you could finish it. <laughs> or you could probably... If you have a handy husband, have him cut you a block this size. Or just cut a block. Or, get the saw or turn it into an ornament. And I, you know those um, wood, 
boxes with the handle. I think they're like for tools. Yeah. I think that these would be so cute. We might have to. All right, shut this up. So what I was saying was those old toolboxes that are made out of wood, if you put these on stakes, because this month you're going to get Christmas seed packets. So if you put them on stakes in that toolbox, I think it would at least look so cute. Yes. With some greenery and stuff. Yes. Um, so if you missed it last week, we're doing these tier tray tidbit seed packets on Wednesdays. And on Fridays, we're doing the roundabouts. Roundabouts. Strippers mm -hmm. needed a break. They're mm -hmm. not very Christmas. They're on vacation for the month of July. Yep, and then they'll be back. <laughs> then they'll be back. They're, they're very Christmassy, but they just wanted a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an A-Mars. Jingle. <clears throat> All right. And then I talked to Julia Paisley's and Polka Dots about making us some wreaths for ornaments. <laughs> oh, gosh. So sleigh bells ring. Are you Chelsea? Ready? No, it's my daughter. That's okay. You got to hit some gas. We're doing a floss tube. <laughs> sleigh bells ring. Roundabout done on black monaco. Chelsea's checks in red and white. Um, so she's making the wreaths, and then there's going to be accessory packs, or what is it? I'm not sure if they come with the wreaths. I haven't. I haven't checked it out totally. But there's four, I think she was doing four wreaths in a package with the four little icon things. So okay. this is a bell. Okay. And the bead comes on them and the string. And then you just paint them. And this would be so easy to paint. And these are so cute. And if you were to do these like for gifts, they look so professional. Yes. I'm trying to look it up to see what's. Okay. Going on. okay, I'm going to yes. show them some previous finishes. So Christmas wreaths, ornaments, set of four, and then you get the four doodads, and that's uh, $13. So they're unfinished. You would paint them, but super cute. And very reasonably priced, too. Yes. That's only, what, three-something an ornament? Uh, that would be such a nice set. Yes. Anyway, North Pole Needleworks. Mm -hmm. This came out last year. And we'll give some of those away today. And then the gingerbread. And I had found this uh, rolling pin at, um, it was $14.99 at Hobby Lobby. So I'm not sure if they still have them. Hobby Lobby keeps advertising when I'm watching YouTube videos. And they're, they're like, we have everything you need to create your spa bathroom. And it's like. No, we don't want to do We want to craft stuff. Yeah, please. <laughs> and then the What's in My Cup, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And these were finished on paddles from Stitch, etc. You can find them on Facebook and order them. Yep, or they have a store in Farmington, Missouri. These are some of my favorites. And then all the things behind us. Um, for the greenery, you didn't use it, did you? So for our okay. new series, there's greenery and every month there's going to be different style flowers that go with Julia's making from Paisley's and Polka Dots is making different flowers to go for each. So this is a greenery from Amazon. Chelsea's going to link it in our Amazon shop. Yes. And then you just make the garland every month and string it around your pole. So yeah. strippers and poles. Yep. Good morning. <laughs> I was going to say something funny. No, don't. I don't have no. to delete No, that. my TikTok apparently thinks I want to know about brothels in Nevada. Because they have these ladies of the night that have TikTok accounts. And they talk to you and tell you, like, not what, what the they last do. one you had? The guy on there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's got some wackadoodle stuff. Wackadoodle. She's like, I don't know why it just keeps coming. Oh, I don't know why. Don't know. Um, We had some things come in from Fat Quarter Shop. So, Fabric of the Month Club. This is really pretty. This is the Icelandic Blue. So, there is the Ada. And this is the... Uh, linen. linen and they're very similar in color this time it's very pretty you can sign up for an ada club or a linen club but a fabric each month i mean that's a great way to build your stash and then 
creatively change a pattern like um these would look really pretty on blue or tea coffee dyed or the sunflower stuff mm -hmm. would be pretty on blue just might have to the change daisies the colors. that we had just done somebody right. did those on blue and they were beautiful yes also have some floss frenzies to give away that's Weeks Dye Works, six skeins of floss each month, or the Bougie Floss. This is fine floss. That's MPI Silks. Um, great way to build your stash. Again, that's from Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Kimberly and team. Oh, I forgot to show this guy. Okay. I was what, trying what to load Amazon. Call? Reindeer Ride. Santa's Ride? Reindeer Ride? Yeah. Something. Ride. I love this one, too. I love all the Christmas. Mm-hmm. I love all of everything. Mm -hmm. Cause they're the neighbors. Uh, oh. <laughs> Be nice. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, okay, we had some giveaways from last week. So the first one is stop and smell the flowers, and you also get the bonus chart with this. This is a PDF. Goes to Mel Patton four seven three one, Rachel Pangrazio six six three three, and Lisa Capel six three six seven. These are so nice, this whole series, because you can leave these up from spring through, you know, until it starts to be fall. Yeah. So we had a whole little garden set. Mom came in my living room and she's like, that garland, is. did you put that up this year? I said, no. Did I put that up last year? <laughs> Absolutely. This is my patriotic bowl of garland. <laughs> we don't go in the front room. Now we got the pop shot in the front room. I had, so I moved it out of my family room where it typically is because I felt like that looked really hillbilly <laughs> to like slightly less hillbilly around the corner in the front room. <laughs> this is the season I'm in. This is, and I love my season. Uh, be happy. This goes to Debbie Bonk 5129, Lisa Grunwald 3830, and Katie Taylor 5681. Also, this flower was from Hobby Lobby. This jar was also from Stitch, etc. Lemons is a paper chart. You need to message me your, you need to email me your physical address for these next three. Pamela Soper, 6448, Crafty DMC2, and C Susan Alfelmi, 4843. Then Fall is in the Air. Oh, I'm sorry. I just lied. Those winners were for Sunflowers. That those winners were for sunflowers. Lemons goes to April Caldwell seven two seven one, Barb Alstat and Rhonda Powers eight seven one one. Okay, sorry, sorry. Checking to see if you're paying attention. Fall is in the air. Also a physical chart. Make sure you email me or yeah, email me your physical address. Kathy Harris seven one five eight, Mickey Johnson eight nine four zero, and Karen Dean two zero two four. Oh my goodness, that is going to be a. Uh... That's not her a butt. wild diaper, huh? That's not her butt. It was too. It was not. She's just a sweet baby. I don't care how much she poops. <laughs> Land of the free to your tray tidbit goes to Wendy Burke four zero eight one Erlene C and uh, Annabelle will come. And I don't know where I put it. Betsy Ross Flag Company goes to Felicia Floss and Fizz, Stroke of Luck Stitcher and Gina Sexton nine two zero zero. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> that is not her, no. Gallo, cra they can't hear that. Gallo Crafts, they can. Amy, can you show this one? Red, white, and blue. Is it this one? Yes. <laughs> Amy Tar8315 and Tracy J9455. <laughs> From Pat Quarter Shop, we have the Star of Wonder kit. Uh, it's a mystery series that they're releasing each week. This goes to Jennifer Clary, 8619, Linda French, 7339, Cindy W-C, Loretta Henderson, 8979, Susan Means, 9991. Then the Sew Sampler box. Thank you, Kimberly and team. Sew Sampler goes to Arlene Curry and Chris G.5986. Okay, so when we did the star finish the last time, how many weeks did we leave it up? Did we do a whole two. month? Or we did two weeks? Two weeks. Okay. So... Here is your, we're doing star finish because we said we were going to do it four times a year. <laughs> That's the star finish. Chelsea in Carr, our, you are a star. And our Stitching with the Housewives group on Facebook. And That's if you aren't already a member. They had a picture of me in my white little, you know, I was a singer and a pageanter and, huh? And your mother was a little bit extra. Chelsea Carr, you are a star. <laughs> is what that was my maiden name. I still have that. It's in the garage somewhere. 
Matt was gonna hang it up in his garage. <laughs> it was in the furniture that you gave away though. Yeah, oh yeah, they gave it back. They said, uh, <laughs> we found your poster. <laughs> anyway. Um, star finish. Star finish starts today. Hashtag star finish in our Facebook group. And it's got to be a stitching with the housewife piece, and it's got to be a finish of a stitching with the housewife piece. Like fully piece. finished. Not yes. the, yeah. We Not have other you ones where, you, use, where yes. you do whips and things like that, but this one is a fully finished object. Yep. And we always love to see what you've come up with, so this is your chance to show them all to us and use the hashtag star finish so we can give you some prizes. Come here, Stinky. All right, now we got giveaways for this week. The first one is three opportunities to win. Oh my goodness. Sleigh Bell's ring. <laughs> she does not. <laughs> she doesn't smell. You sure? Yes. Sleigh Bell's ring is right in front of you. No, the first one, not that one. The first one is that one. <laughs> first one is three opportunities to win peppermint seeds. And thank you all for your nice comments on our two new releases this week. We are very excited for them. And number two is three opportunities to ring Sleigh Bell's ring. To ring Sleigh Bell's ring? Just, they didn't know what I'm saying. Number three, North Pole Needle Workshop. Gingerbread. Number four, three opportunities to win, gingerbread. Number five. Start giving away this stuff and then we'll see where we are. Five, two opportunities to win, fine floss from Fat Quarter Shop. Silk. Number six, floss frenzy, two opportunities. Number seven is two opportunities to win the Icelandic uh, blue linen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight is the Ada. Two opportunities to win that. Go to um, ten. Do both of these as a together. Pair. Yep. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. What's in my cup? And then number ten. Three of you will win all four of these farmhousey roundabouts. There's the little pig, the sheep, ah, leaveable, the cow, and the chicken. Is her name Peppermint Poultry? I can't remember this one. <laughs> Look at how I did the French knots. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's got eyes going. To... <laughs> <laughs> to find good help it really is especially ones that know how to do french knots so next week we will show you the fully finished a brand new series blooming roots the first one all finished on the board and i can't wait for you to see it i think you're going to be so excited for it's it it's a strong deadline for you <laughs> at least we got the garden tour done <laughs> next week <laughs> no that day that i worked from like eight in the morning until almost five at night. And I told Hunter, I'm like, I feel like I have a heat stroke. I can't get enough water in me. It was bad. She drank six of her Stitching with the Housewives cups. Mm -hmm. Hated every minute of it. I drink it all the time. Anyway. Happy fourth. So, yes. Belated. Happy, happy fourth. Don't forget to do your star finish. We're going to keep it open for two weeks. So not next week we'll announce the winners, but the week after we'll announce the winners. And we can't wait to see all your finishes. And follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we do. The new charts. What about your Etsy? Have oh, started shipping so you can get the sunflowers, the lemons, and the follows in the air. And anything else? Get your finishing inspiration from us. Tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And see you next week. Hopefully none of you set off fireworks and you all still have your hands. Somebody did in Racine. They... Really? Yeah. Oh, yesterday in a parade we were watching. We didn't see it happen, but. She, was... The mom commented. He just fell off. He just had road rash. Okay. It was uh, right know, down 20 feet from us. Yes. Everybody was like rushing toward the trailer. Yeah. There was horses there. I don't, it was like chaos. Scary. And it's, it makes you like panic a little bit. Um, but a little boy fell, fell off. off the trailer he was riding on and was 
skinned up, but the fire department, or yeah, the fire we station. We thought he got run over. Right, because that's what the call was when people called into 911, and that was what was on the scanner. Um, the fire station was less than a block away, so the dad ran to the fire station right there. and But they put on that county scanner that he's okay. He just has a little bumps and bruises, a little road rash on his face, and he's okay. But it was, it was terrifying. And then these people were next to us, and they had a dog. and A big dog. Yeah, a big dog. And a golden retriever. Horses are going by and he's like loosely holding the leash letting the dog bark at the yeah and run out there towards them it, it aggravated me so much because i got two small kids with me because at that time cash had come back you know if something happens and you're spooking that horse what, what are you doing what are you doing anyways i digress okay we hope that you had a happy fourth we hope that you have a great weekend get lots of stitching in start stitching your christmas in july so that you are ready for christmas in december yes we will see November. You. November. <laughs> November. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.